Hello, my name is Barry John, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. I have a co-commentator today, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm the long-forgotten twin of Speedball here. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, content warning, uh, Parasite Eve is rated M for Mature. I am not kidding. Uh, it more than earns that rating, so viewer discretion is advised. So, uh, I also want to warn people ahead of time, day five is the longest day, by far. Uh, so, I'm not sure how many videos this is going to wind up being, but me and Speedball are uh, sitting down, we're nice and comfy, and we're ready for the long mm -hmm. haul. I think this is the first day that has, like, optional side dungeon and yeah, everything in it. Unless you count the Chrysler building, but yeah, no, uh... Oh, wow, we can just jump straight into stuff. Oh, right, because we're supposed to be looking for uh, uh, Eve right now. So I'm just going to jump straight ahead to Chinatown, which is our destination for our first destination for the day. Good music. Yeah. I legitimately do not think that Chinatown would be abandoned even in, you know, even in this case. Are you saying we might have big trouble in Little China? <laughs> uh, no. Aya is not that good with uh, knives. <laughs> Parasite Energy plus one to start off the day, which is always nice. And, and a fight to start the day off. Ooh! Oh, so, so last day I kind of made a mistake. I called the, the... These are the actual rat uh, threes. Okay. The other kangaroo-shaped rat men were something else entirely. Okay. Yeah. Oh. They've got three tails. They're even bigger. And they hit harder. And they look like they uh, throw down fireworks for tails. Can't... Oh, nope. I need... Down here... Sorry, I keep forgetting where some of these things are. I have the freaking guidebook beside me, but it's open to the uh, next section of the game, the map down there. Ah, oh, the snakes are back after most of the game being gone. But, uh, blam, blam. starting to get a racking of a lot of the XP here. The scaling is picking up a bit. Yeah. No, not here. Oh, there's the treasure chest I was looking for on the left hand side. Blam, blends right that in. One. And this is where I pick up, picked up my acid mod from the uh, previous run through. Actually, no, I don't want to save my progress yet. I want to head down further this way. Ah, it's a mystic shop of wonders. Mm -hmm. M1911A2. Yep. Actually, is that, what was that my basic gun there? So my Liberty had a basic attack of 57, range 50, and I can't remember what it was I used for it. There we go. There's a tool, and there should be one more chest hidden back here somewhere, but I can never seem to find it. Oh, well, it's good enough for me. 
But that little side passage, a lot of people don't find because they see the save point and then they uh, keep going forward. Mm -hmm. That is one of the things I don't like about this particular game is the uh, fixed camera angles make it too easy to hide stuff. And the developers love hiding stuff too much. A little bit, yeah. Oh yeah, they're 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 kind of mean about it actually. An entire section hidden right next to a save point. Oh, it, the last dungeon of the day is going to have it even worse. Oh, but here's Mida, and I'm just. Damn it, tried to get by him, but he won't let me. Check out this slime! Looks like rotten meat. You have a radio! Daniel made a point of giving you a radio last time. Uh, I don't want to get it out of my pocket. But before I go down into the, oh my god, the obligatory server level, wish me luck, Buddha, I need it. <laughs> so, the sewer level. Uh, I have a map open beside me here. Actually, I'm going to move it in front of me here. I have a map open for this game. Oh, hold on. I hit the button incorrectly. I do not want to do that. I want to do that. So I have a map for the sewers beside me here. And this sewer level is not a maze. It's actually a grid. Except it's still a goddamn sewer. So it's a problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pass through here to try and pick up the good stuff. Or pick up as much as I can. But unfortunately, there's not a lot to talk about in the sewer, so I'm going to spend some time talking about uh, the development of this game and... Oh, God damn it, blindness. Give me a second here. Uh, I don't have the anti-blindness ability yet, damn it. And I didn't use that either. Uh, so, how much this game worked on uh, as part of coming out of... Final Fantasy 7. So, we've talked about this before a little bit, Speedball, but how much do you remember what I've talked about? Uh, I remember a lot of it was reused character concepts, ideas, uh, and other things uh, that didn't quite fit into Final Fantasy 7, but there's still obvious similarities. Daniel is Barrett, uh, Iabrea is Cloud, you know, she has that same kind of stoicism, not to mention the hair and eyes, uh, and the flashbacks. Uh, All right. Eve is basically like a, like Genova, things like that. Okay, uh, that is a lot of it. So, originally, Final Fantasy VII was intended I'm sorry. Over the course of Final Fantasy development history, for six, seven, five, six, five, six, seven, uh, there was a movement of the game towards being more uh, technological in a way. You can really see this with how uh, six turned out with the you know the Magitek armor and uh, all that sort of hold on, Magitek armor and the development of. Uh, people's more yeah basically improving technologically and having larger cities and more uh, a move away from the traditional uh, pseudo European uh, medieval uh, fantasy. setting that a lot of yeah so the original concept like when they were first plotting out what they want to do with Final Fantasy 7 was the idea of a detective in a city uh, investigating supernatural events uh, the character that would eventually become Cloud was uh, is seen as the detective, and they would have a partner on the force who would eventually become Barrett, or in this case Daniel. Uh, 
and the entire game would take place inside a city. No, I don't want to do that yet. So, uh, uh, but however, so you can see how this played out in the original Final Fantasy VII with how much of the game takes place in Midgar. Uh, and the reboot, basically the entire first third of the reboot, is in the city. And uh, unfortunately, they even uh, talked about, or at Square, they talked about, uh, you know, maybe setting it in the real world in its own way to help differentiate it from generic medieval fantasy. But uh, it got shot down in favor of the more uh, open world side of things that we saw eventually in Final Fantasy VII with more uh, PCs, more, oh, there it is, more PCs, a more traditional magic system, a lot of, you know, evolutionary rather than revolutionary uh, changes to the franchise. Uh, also, the super tool. So, uh, the super tool is like a normal tool, except, you notice, you people may remember that when I've been modding my weapons and whatnot, uh, using a tool, modding a weapon, it destroys the weapon I uh, had in the first place, right? No. Uh, with the super tool, on the other hand, it doesn't destroy the basic weapon underneath. Hmm. It can be useful if you want to uh, salvage more than one part of a weapon, like all of its attributes, and then a special effect from it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, so having the few super tools we have will help out in the long run here. Oh. But as I was saying, uh, like Final Fantasy VII and the original like paper plotting before they started, you know, making the game and whatnot, uh, they decided, you know what, like we can try this out conceptually, but it, trans or it transliterated into, don't, don't let it bite you. Uh, translated into what we got with the final, actual Final Fantasy VII after a while. Um, just hit you twice, and then heal three. Overkill, but I'll take it. Uh, traditional Final Fantasy VII, or I won't call it traditional, but the classic Final Fantasy VII that we got. But after Final Fantasy VII came out in... Uh, it, and Final Fantasy VIII was in development. They realized they were going to need something of a engine test of some sort, a way to uh, keep, you know, way to test out their new uh, workings and to see how things work with the inc with the uh, implementation of uh, full metal, uh, full uh, full motion videos, and this. Uh, art style involved. Like, if you look at Aya Brea here, and you were to drop this character model in the Final Fantasy VIII, you would barely be able to tell the difference. Oh yeah, absolutely. Final Fantasy VIII having the more humanoid uh, shape, shapes as opposed to the uh, super deformed, big head, tiny body shapes. Mm-hmm. Just clearing some space in my inventory here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You're you're excused. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, when Square got the franchise to do a video game for Parasite Eve, like I don't know if they were trying to. Uh, play catch up to Resident Evil and they somehow they got the uh, oh crap I, and they somehow got the license for it or if they got the license for this thing beforehand and uh, wound up uh, wound up uh, you know just making the game to go with it oh Gene Heal Regeneration oh nice oh crap I got all the so uh, the gene heal basically converts Aya's uh, PE into health. As long as you have PE and it does go down over time, 
uh, her health will slowly recover. And I realize I need to use my uh, bonus points here. Time to throw everything into my gun. Hell yeah. Basically doubles his attack power Just... there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> the CR protector. Yep. AT gauge recharge down and uh, health up. I'll check there. Nope, I don't want to turn left. I want to go up and to the right here. So basically, Parasite Eve mechanically uh, started out as a tech demo, effectively, for uh, Final Fantasy VIII while it was in production. And I'm not really sure why, mostly because uh, they, they also had, like, a Brave Fencer Musashi and Xenogears in production at the time. So it seemed like I don't know why they made this game using the resources that they did. And a grenade launcher with more acid. <laughs> Man, this sewer is loaded. It's a New York sewer. What do you expect? <laughs> and for the people confused at home, uh, I'm actually south of where I picked up that first super tool. And right now I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Come on. My map shows it's in here somewhere, but I'm beginning to doubt it. Screw it. It's just a tool. I don't need it. Yeah, uh, when it comes time to the real optional dungeon, we're going to be drowning in tools. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I want you and you and give me your bullets. Do I want to use this? No, I don't want to use the regular super tool on that. And I want to save these guys. So I want the auto heal. I want the I want to see if the HP uh, max stacks between death and the protector well, here. That's a good question. Because the information I have doesn't indicate that either way. Come through here. But yeah, so a lot of, as you mentioned before, Aya Brea was is derived from Cloud. Uh, Daniel and Barrett, like, especially when you see Barrett and how he handles Ben, and then you uh, look at how uh, Barrett treats his daughter Marlene, like, there's a huge character overlap there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh... Maida is the uh, is a sort of combination between uh, Bloodhaven from Cosmo Canyon and Aerith in his own way, but more Bloodhaven because he's the guy who provides the information about. Oh yeah, this is a thing. Uh, he's also sort of a non-villainous version of Hojo in appearance. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I get the chance, I'll post a picture of. Uh, Maida, or not Maida, of Dr. Klemp, like the official portrait of him oh, yeah. in the thread. And it just, like my speedball provided me with a copy of it at some point. And my response was, yeah, this guy's got some massive Hojo energy. All right, there should be a box in this room. No. Wait. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Shotgun. Now, this guy I'm going to need to keep as well, uh, mostly because it has the uh, shotgun blast ability attached to it, which turns my pistol, or my you know single shot, single target, into a cone area of effect, which is group damage, effectively. Yeah. Uh... 
closest thing I can compare it to is... Actually, no, I can't compare it. It's just literally a shotgun. What do you want? <laughs> it's a cone of damage. Uh... Item. Oh, what, what do I do? I need to call use, use on you. There we go. Uh, but uh, getting back to the uh, whole pastiche and reused assets thing, uh, Aya Brea actually got reused as a character concept in a later Final Fantasy game that people may or may not have heard of. Uh, so if you've heard of the character of Lightning from Final Fantasy XIII... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, Lightning is... Lightning wants to be Aya Brea when Lightning grows up. <laughs> yeah. It's, there was an enormous mess left on the cutting room floor for Final Fantasy XIII. It almost didn't get made. Oh, God, no. Uh, yeah, Square was in some serious uh, issues at the time. And they had a... It, it, was a col it was a very much a big mess going on behind the scenes. So I'm going to have to come back out here eventually. But un what's really unfortunate is I can't pass underneath this uh, walkway. I have to go all the way back into the, to the storm drainage system and go all the way back around to get to the side I need to go to. And as I said earlier, uh, the, the sewers of this game are not a maze. They're laid out like a grid. And just a simple passing back and forth can get you where you need to go without too much issue. But uh, speaking of lightning, if I remember correctly, I think she actually got a uh, Aya Brea costume in one of the games she was in, either that... Uh, 3D fighting game or thirteenth uh, three. Oh yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. One of those two. I'll mm -hmm. have to look that up later. Ah, no, get out of the freaking. Okay, you use item. Use a cure blindness. Ah. Uh. Angry Video Game Nerd was right about one thing. Goddamn bats and everything. <laughs> They're always the most annoying enemy in whatever game they show choose to show up in. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is that I cure the blindness before I start firing, so uh, Aya's range is restored to full. Because if she's blind, she's restricted to melee range with her weapons. Yeah. Or as accurate with, with as accuracy with her weapons. So using the double action to uh, cure blindness and then kill a bat actually works out in this, these encounters. There we go. Uh, I've seen worse mazes. Uh, but yeah, this game's sort of uh, weird cousin vagrant story has uh, a maze whose rooms are exits and entrances are all teleporters. Uh, they'll show up on the map for every room you go through, but the map itself has it set up so that they actually form a uh, a symbol of the rude, uh, uh, with the, uh, secret dungeon boss in there at the end. I think it's like one of those stone Shiva statues. 
I, yeah. I, so. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how I ahead. beat that back in the day, but I did. <laughs> So I remember playing in the XL trilogy a, a teleporter maze where the auto map was disabled. Oh God, that's the worst. Yeah. So fortunately, I'm done with this. I'm done with the uh, sewer maze section. Not quite done with the sewers, but the rest of it's a pretty straight line. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about, I don't know if this is a subject matter for, you know what, I'll save that for Parasite Eve 2 and uh, some of the relationship it has with Final Fantasy VIII. And just check to make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. But yeah, you look at all this uh, Eve biomatter on the walls. Like, uh, she really needs a mop and bucket. And Club 3. So, has the Steal ability, has the First Strike ability, or the Quick Draw ability, which means that uh, you can, you when you're equipped with that weapon, you start the each fight with a full AT bar. Oh, did not expect this fight. Really? All that just for a single bat? Oh. I swear, one of these days someone is going to make a good sewer level, and then they will never make another one ever again. <laughs> By definition, sewer levels are not good. Actually, you know what? No, I take it back. The only good sewer level I've ever seen was in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles side-scrolling brawl. Oh, yeah, and that's only because pretty much all of the game is a sewer. Yeah. Uh, so, that is a rather large container. We cannot go up and out the door to the left right now. It's blocked to further in. And... Oh dear. It's the audience from Central Park. Uh, yeah. Honest. Oh no, it's the red slime from Ghostbusters 2. I uh, start shooting. I don't know if a bullet would do anything. It's just gel. Mm, true. But I do like the implication that, despite all of the other options for weapons available, she goes through this entire game with basically her uh, service pistol. And legitimate concern. Uh, I is thinking that with this, with Eve's biomatter in the reservoir, if it gets into the drinking water. Uh, Eve has direct access to pretty much everybody in the city. Damn, which... I know which one I need to roll here. But hey, guess who's back? Oh! Uh, their tails are bigger. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, these guys aren't... Uh, the tails are not separate targets anymore. Uh, whoa! Radial blast at the end of that. Nice. Fancy. Yeah. I mean, in a way, they're a bit of a downgrade. Oh, that's some good... Oh, hold on. I ran out of space for stuff. I'm going to ditch Club 2 because don't need that anymore. Okay. Discard. Discard. Use our 
So now the question is... Is? the hell are we going to do to uh, all that slime? <laughs> Uh, what would one do to the slime? I guess you'd have to figure out if it's flammable or not. Uh, anyone ever play the more recent game, Control? Uh, there isn't a sewer, but there is a sewage monster called The Clog <laughs> that's jamming up the pipes next to the nuclear reactor. <laughs> And the janitor calls it my old enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I already have a source of acid. I don't want triple bullets. I'm just going to move all this stuff over. There we go. And I think it's this one I need to... No. No. Sorry guys, give me a few moments to figure out which one of these things I need to turn because it's... <sighs> Good old valve puzzle. It's not a puzzle, it's one of these things that uh, you're supposed to turn. Tool, ladder, yeah, here the puzzle is figuring out three. which one you can interact with. <laughs> yeah. Because you're supposed to be able to turn one of these things to... Uh... Okay, come on, can I get around the... No? You know, I'm glad I'm doing minimal post-editing on this, because if I wasn't, you know, this would be the sort of thing that I'd be cutting out. Let me just go up ahead and see if I can, uh, if I'm just misremembering what I need to do here. Eve really does leave a mess wherever she goes. And a Medicine 3. I'll be using that later. Come on. There we go. Come on. Uh, camera angles. I kind of wish there was cooler ambient music for this place, though. Like how uh, the inside of the Mako reactor in FF7. It's not like this game doesn't have good music. It's just not here. Yeah, before you uh, get Eve out of there, that's the that door would be blocked. Ah. This door is tied to the pressure. We've got unequal pressure. <laughs> I guess that's actually a right. monitor of the sewer. No, that's the next section. Hold on, let me move the slime in the reservoir by using the control panel. Turn it on. And I want to activate pump one. Oh, hold on. I know what I need to do. Pump two is now off. Uh, are you sure you wanted... Oh. Okay, I guess now we know how Eve was able to break those staircases. This thing is strong. Yeah. I want to turn it off now because there's water flowing through here. Oh, wait, no, I need to go back there. There's a box I forgot.
Oh, that tiny little thing? That's a box? Yeah. Yep. Yes, it's only 30 rounds of ammo, but it's 30 rounds of ammo. Now, if I hadn't turned that thing back off, this section would be flooded with water, and I is not about to go through chest-deep uh, storm drain water. No. And we are out of the sewers. Oh, thank goodness. I thought the other place in day five was the mandatory place. Out of the, the We are out of the sewers and into the subway. Do like me a good. I like how the music. Oh picking. yeah, I do like a good subway tunnel uh, level though. It's not exactly a maze because it usually only goes in a couple of directions, barring uh, intersections. So the developers usually have to spice it up by putting things in all of the stations, and sometimes you have to do dangerous stuff like dodging oncoming trains. Uh, speedball. We don't talk about that level in the same yeah. <laughs> Now, on the other hand, we can talk about the uh, subway section of Final Fantasy VII when you're in Midgard, after you jump off the train there. Mm. I was also thinking of Silent Hill 3. I don't remember playing that game. Huh. Well... You can potentially get run over by a train. Uh, not gonna save? Uh, well, maybe not. Watch, well, no, no, no. I won't. Sorry. Both of these uh, train lines lead to the same place, but I want to do this side first, just to show off the encounter that's here. Then I'll go back, save, and go up the other way. Hmm. Because there's a new enemy here, and a tool ch and a treasure chest. Meet the mole man. Oh my God, the mole man are real. <laughs> the mole man is also dead. The mole man is no longer real. Yeah, much like the uh, worms from the end of day two, uh, the mole men will go underground, pop up, and uh, do their thing. Except unlike the worms, they don't have a ranged attack. It's just strictly melee. Yeah, go at you with those giant it's claws. A... Wait. We are at the last station before the Brooklyn Bridge. Which is interesting. All right, hold on a second here. I, I hope the cops uh, secured all of the subway train lines in and out of Manhattan, because otherwise they wouldn't be able to cut off the creatures. The, the trouble is there's a lot of that well, going we, through here, yeah. Well, as we learn in the second game, uh, a lot of the creatures do get off the island and onto the mainland. Yeah. And... Uh, Aya gets a job, you know, hunting them down. Yeah. And I think they don't really have a means to make more of themselves, per se, with, uh... But there's still enough of them that they need to go after every single one. Because mm -hmm. they're still dangerous. In fact, I believe the uh, intro cutscene shows her shooting at a firing range and all of the targets are paper cutouts of the monsters of the first game, which is a nice cute touch. Uh, XCOM did that as well. The oh, yeah. uh, cutscenes you get when you have the new plasma weapon, or the new weapon types uses the uh, old version of the of the enemy types when you're shooting at them. Mm -hmm. And uh, even and then new XCOM 2 also did that for the uh, monster versions. Of, uh, oh, geez, a centipede! 
So, welcome to uh, the boss, the first boss fight. Uh, oh crap! Crap! Move! 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 Oh, poison artillery. Of, uh, yep. This is the centipede. It is a rather powerful enemy in that it has. If you're in front of it, it does that. And when you're this, come on. It has the electric attack in front of it as well. Your best bet to fighting this guy is to be off to the side of it as much as you can. But even that's not and safe because sometimes it does that artillery attack. Mm -hmm. And if you're and here is section two. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's playing Hold musical on. chairs with itself. <laughs> yep. But that is target three. Focus on one at a time and just shoot each section dead. Now, if it was really advanced, it'd be able to recombine its different sections in a different order and have different attacks, but they can't all be like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to use the regen here because, uh, and you can see how... Uh, it, it eats up the rest of your PE as it goes. Yep. And you can see in the upper right-hand corner, Aya is poisoned and she or her health is regenerating. So, I'm going to do the important part here. Use item... Oh, crap, I don't have any... Anti-poison. Uh, yeah. Oh well. It, with regular weapons, this is a lot tougher of a fight. Also, I'm not actually poisoned right now. I'm venom, which is a super poison. Level 27. I want to be at level 34 by the end of the day. Or by the uh, last boss fight of this day. Because level 34 is the last level in which you get new abilities, and Speedball knows exactly what I want. Yes, I do. Alright, now this... Sorry. Hidden back here is a little uh, side passage. That has some goodies in it. Like the uh, source of my... Uh, uh, one of my uh, elemental resistances and another tool just to use it. Hold on, I'm going to do something here. Oh, I know what I can do to conserve space. You have space. Let's move you over there just to start stacking some of that stuff on the on the alternate armor I'm going to have later on. Yeah, tragically, our PE cannot regenerate outside of battle, but I do like that the second game, it's uh, she just drinks soda and energy drinks to replenish her energy, which makes sense to me. Anything sugary will do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. Okay, I have the discs. So, you may people may know, it's like, this is day five out of day six. Uh, Parasite Eve is a two-disc game. Also, Brooklyn Bridge. Looks good. good. Completely abandoned. Oh, uh, except for this guy, who's dead. Yep. Uh-oh, uh -oh. that's not good. That is an awkward skyline to have uh, from before 2001. Eh, that, that part didn't even occur to me. Uh, I guess I'm so used to mentally editing out all of the skyscrapers. Alright, so, disc two. Give me a second here, people. I'm going to be switching the disc live. Put down the controller. Reach down and get my... Nope, that is my external hard drive. 
There it is. Ugh. Sorry, my computer does not have an internal or an integrated <laughs> integrated uh, CD drive, so I had to pick up an external drive. Come on, there we go. Pop out the CD. You remember having to do this when you were much younger, didn't you, uh, Speedball? Absolutely. And in hey, even all, even you remember older, when people did it. I remember uh, there was this one one CD drive stack library thing that would just like mechanically insert one CD and then remove it and then shuffle the stack up and down to get the next CD. That was really crazy. And of course before even that we had the magnetic floppy disks. Change disk. There we go. Any FMV heavy game would be uh... sorry people I'm going to uh, I'm trying to fo change disk from file from device no I did put it in there right yes checking disk there we go it just took a bit to recognize it and now we are officially on disk 2 Ah, Sorry about that. Gosh, it takes so much effort to play old games these days. <laughs> I know. Hey, but you know what's even better? I can plug in a disc and play the game. I don't need to uh, download 100 gigabytes of patches and uh, updates whenever I want to play a game. No, they had to put things through rigorous QA to the point where... Uh, it would never need a patch because they knew they couldn't patch it back then. And that sort of and that sort of screw up was uh, not acceptable. All right, and I can close up the jewel case now because I'm good with that. Anyway, uh, uh, this update so, so far today has been kind of a dull game so far you know all games need quiet time and breathing space because uh, we're gonna make up for that a lot in the uh, in the next parts <laughs> mm-hmm Uh, Aya picking up the phone. Hey, Daniel, guess what I killed uh, near the Brooklyn Bridge? What? 50-foot-long centipede. It started switching its parts around. That was really weird. I mean, me and Dan is like, if it was anybody else on any other day, I'd say they were drunk or high. <laughs> but, completely unannounced, is this little place right here, the warehouse. We're gonna play a visit, because this is the optional, sorry, this is the regular optional dungeon that isn't uh, the Chrysler building. You can actually hit this place this, up before the, uh, before the uh, Chinatown. No, you can't, actually. No? I'm almost positive you could. No. Really. You have to go through China, you have to... Uh... Hey, a dog made it. Thanks, Otis. <sighs> yeah. I was just standing there staring at the dog going, is he for real? <laughs> and that is L, so... I don't think that name's a reference to anything. He just has a dog. Yeah. Little treasure chest here for a Walther PPK. Nice. First, as in yeah. first strike, you're guaranteed to always uh, I, have your ET meter filled at the start of battle, I believe. Yeah, yeah it, because you can't move uh, abilities between clubs and guns, so there's one for the guns and one for the club. But I want to go behind here, go forward, uh, and just hit the button, because there's a hidden tool in a treasure chest right back here.
and welcome to the a warehouse. It's kind of flimsy how there's just this one guy who says, uh, Eve's in there, gotta go. <laughs> he doesn't elaborate, I mean, he doesn't say what kind of monster sightings there's been, if any. You know, if if I was more suspicious, he, I'd say he was setting us up. He is not setting us up. He's just that way. <laughs> yeah. So, my first thought when I played this game, like, this is a military storage warehouse. Uh, it's not that much of a... Uh... Not much of a dungeon. Yeah. And notice the regular rat there. Oh, whoa, it's bigger now. It scared away the other rats. Yeah, so like... <laughs> yeah, this is Rat 4 with extra haste. Yeah. Looks like it's less fancy than the other one, but very fast. Yeah. It's interesting that they programmed in uh, one red to uh, chasing away another. <laughs> okay, I, it's back here somewhere. There it is, that's what Whoa, I need. Oh, the right tiny blink, blinking thing. Yeah. Okay, I work in a where. Oh god, super spider, super spider. Yeah, you worked in a warehouse, but it's it, it, it's not like this, fortunately. Uh, a lot of the yeah. warehouses I uh, tended to were... Thankfully, they didn't have that big a rent problem. Uh, Yeah, th these enemies drop a lot of ammo because you're not expected to come through here with a souped-up weapon like I am. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, they're expecting be... you to have, like, something that takes more shots and also possibly using those guns that pop off a lot of shots, like the assault rifle or the submachine gun or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think this game makes uh, certain guns use more ammo than others, other than just firing more shots. It's not like uh, Deus Ex 2 uh, where, uh, you know, all your weapons draw from the same ammo pool but at different rates. And I want to move just you over with a regular Oh, tool. just a plus one? But I guess it'll sacrifice the item slot and that'll help make room. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This this oh, is dear. when that starts happening. Yep. So, Aya now... I mentioned way back when that there was an ammo type that I just was going to politely ignore. Aya has a rocket crate for storing uh, rockets in, somewhere in her pockets. Look, it's just one of her many powers. Ooh, offense two. Offense plus two. Yes, I know that I've but Liberty has an attack power of seventy one plus seventy three. But that's uh, not enough. We need more. That's gonna be a run that, yeah. Actually you know what, while I have my inventory open. Let's refill. Hey Daniel, uh, I'm in an abandoned military warehouse over by Pier 3. Reports of Eve, there are mutated monsters over here. I'll let you know uh, w what I find. He's gonna be so jealous I have a rocket launcher. 
It's okay. To make up for it, Daniel is busy arm wrestling an alligator. <laughs> yeah. It grew a human hand just for this. And he's still winning. <laughs> So this fight I found is actually easy, just the easiest way to deal with it is just not to move because for whatever reason if you're not moving the enemy spiders aren't like aren't as liable to attack. Plus two. Ooh, that was a nice chance. I'm looking at my guidebook, and that actually has a 30% chance of showing up in that particular treasure box. This one, uh, defense plus two, shows up 45% of the time. Just another tool. Save you for later. Oh god, such a slow transition. And I think this is the only time she uses this animation. Yeah. It's a shiny golden rope of hope. Take a deep breath, and odd camera angle. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, a giant enemy crab. Hell yeah! I love how it's all right. First thing, claws are like halfway sorry. between normal claws and hands. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast barrier on this fight because the the crab has two attacks, and you see the first one in action right here with the uh, bubble spray. Uh, the other, it's gonna circle around the edge of the battlefield and you can't really target the main body until you've taken out the uh, crab arms on both sides. Come on, use your other attack, buddy. Oh, there we go. Now the reason why I have barrier up is if you, you don't, I'm just going to chill and wait for you to use your other ability here because I want to show it off. There we yeah. go. Now you can either, you can either attempt to outrun this with haste as an active or you can have barrier up because the eyeball stalks are a percentage based attack. For whatever reason the game calculates percentage based attacks as a zero damage. So it sees uh, zero damage, and so it takes away zero points of barrier energy, or PE energy, while the barrier is up, instead of being a percentage attack to Aya's health. Which makes this fight so much easier when you don't have to worry about the auto-tracking, percentage-based hits. You can just, you know, do this. And yeah, this guy's taking a lot of hits. I'm just gonna heal. For some reason, its eyes popping out of its skull to shoot lasers is more uh, more disturbing than I thought it would be. Ah, there we go. There's our reward. <laughs> An AT4. The anti anti tank yep, rifle eggs. four. Mhm. Mm uh, give me a second here. I will call it up, but I'm not going to use it though. No special abilities, no ability to be modded. Uh, Liberty does 
more damage now that I've modded it out the wazoo. It holds one rocket per shot, so you have to reload it between shots. But its benefit is that huge, gargantuan range of two of over 200. Do not be caught out here while the steam is. Ow! 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 Get out of the get out of the steam! Get out of the steam, frick! I'm sorry, people. That was not intended. But yeah, I have... It, it, the AT-4 comes with two more rockets by default, but the rocket crate I picked up earlier had some in it, so I've got a full round of ten if I wanted to. There we go. Now I want you. Oh, it's just a, just a freaking tool? <laughs> to be fair, fighting the giant enemy crab and hitting in its weak point is the real reward. The tool is just fancy. And that is the warehouse, the bonus dungeon. A bit more of a slog uh, if you have uh, more uh, words I want to say. Less effective weaponry, but that's a theme behind this particular LP. Hello, game, don't pause out on me here. Uh. And even if it does, I'm just going to... I can hear the music, so it's trying to load. If it pauses here, uh, speedball, or crashes out here, I'll stop. The, we'll stop the recordings. Uh, do this separately, then do a part two. I'll replay because I saved before the boss fight. I'll replay that, and then we'll uh, pick up after I've left the uh, place here. Does that sound Sounds good to you? Sounds great to me. Alright, give me a... Come Actually, on. this might be a good spot for a break overall, but yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do that then. I'll stop recording now. Stop. Stop.